Hello, my fellow thinkers and seekers of wisdom, and welcome to Quotable Skeptic. I'm your content creator, and on this channel, we embark on a journey through the world of ideas inspired by quotes and driven by my own thoughts. But let me share something unique about this space. I've faced some extraordinary challenges, a disability and a lack of formal education, that haven't deterred my passion for knowledge and content creation. With a trusty AI companion, ChatGPT, I craft articles that challenge conventions and open new intellectual horizons. Why the AI voice, you ask? It's all about making knowledge accessible, breaking barriers, and ensuring that everyone, no matter their circumstances, can join the conversation. So, without further ado, let's explore the profound world of quotes and musings right here at Quotable Skeptic. The Illusion of Divine Surveillance, George Carlin's Take on Religion, George Carlin, a legendary comedian known for his razor-sharp wit and unfiltered humor, once made a scathing observation about the pervasive influence of religion. His quote, religion has convinced people that there's an invisible man, living in the sky, who watches everything you do every minute of every day highlights the absurdity that can be found in the dogmas of various faiths. While Carlin's words may sound provocative, they shed light on the paradoxical nature of religion's teachings. Carlin's commentary begins with the notion of an invisible man in the sky. This characterization mirrors the anthropomorphic portrayal of God found in many religious texts. The divine is often depicted as a benevolent, all-seeing entity who watches over humanity's every action. While this image may offer comfort and guidance to some, it can also raise questions about the omnipresence and surveillance implied by such a belief. The comedian's reference to a list of ten specific things he doesn't want you to do, alludes to the moral codes and commandments present in various religious traditions, such as the Ten Commandments in Christianity or similar guidelines in other faiths. These rules are often presented as divine decrees, and adherents are expected to follow them without question. Carlin's humorous take underscores the rigid and sometimes arbitrary nature of religious commandments. The quote takes a dark turn as Carlin describes the consequences of disobedience, an eternity of torment in a place of burning and fire and smoke and torture and anguish. This vivid imagery, commonly associated with the concept of hell, highlights the fear-based elements present in some religious teachings. It questions the morality of a deity who would condemn individuals to eternal suffering for their earthly transgressions. The punchline, but he loves you. He loves you. He loves you and he needs money, draws attention to the financial aspects of organized religion. While faith is often preached as a path to spiritual enlightenment and salvation, it can also be entangled with financial contributions, tithes, and offerings. Carlin's humor reveals the irony of a benevolent deity who supposedly demands material wealth from their followers. In essence, George Carlin's quote serves as a satirical critique of certain aspects of religion that may be perceived as contradictory or manipulative. It encourages critical thinking and prompts individuals to reflect on the beliefs and practices that shape their faith. While it does not target any specific religion, it prompts a broader conversation about the role of religion in society and the varying interpretations of spiritual teachings. In conclusion, George Carlin's humorous take on religion reminds us that humor can be a powerful tool for introspection and critical examination of our beliefs. It encourages us to question the narratives we encounter and to explore the complexities of faith, all while reminding us that laughter can be a powerful force in confronting challenging topics. Carlin's quote and my article bring home some important points. First, humor and satire are powerful tools for challenging what we think we know. They remind us that laughter can be a gateway to deep introspection, even on the weightiest subjects, 
Carlin's words also encourage us to question the teachings of religious institutions. They nudge us to engage in critical thinking, to really ponder the intricacies and contradictions within religious doctrines, the quote underscores the dual nature of religion, highlighting the contrast between a loving, all-seeing deity and the fear-based elements like the concept of hell. It motivates us to explore the complex interplay of elements within religious faith. Carlin's punchline about the deity needing money reminds us to thoughtfully evaluate the financial aspects of organized religion. It's a quirky way of saying, hey, what's the deal with the collection plate? Lastly, this quote and my article promote open dialogue. They encourage meaningful conversations about the role of religion in society and the many ways people interpret spiritual teachings. In a nutshell, they invite us to dive deep into the intricate world of religion, to think through the implications of our beliefs, and to appreciate the potency of humor in addressing even the most intricate and challenging topics. They reinforce that questioning and critical thinking are key ingredients in our personal growth and in expanding our understanding of the world. As we wrap up our journey today, remember that curiosity knows no boundaries. Quotable Skeptic is here to prove that passion for knowledge and content creation transcends limitations. We embrace the power of AI voice technology to make information inclusive and accessible to all. If you've enjoyed our discussions, don't forget to show some love by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Together, we'll continue to question the norm, explore fresh perspectives, and celebrate the unquenchable thirst for understanding. Until our next exploration, this is Quotable Skeptic, where curiosity and thoughtful insights thrive.